With 1,020 registered participants, the 2013 CPA PNG and CPA Australia PNG branch joint annual conference is one of the largest organized professional gathering in the country this year. There was also a huge contingent of public sector accountants. Minister for Finance James Marape opened the two-day conference. He explained for the second consecutive year, PNG was running a deficit budget. Marape said there was decline in economic activities, but the government was spending to maintain economic stimulus. He said all this boiled down to the custodians of the country's resources. But much of his emphasis to the participants was on time management. Greatest custodian and stewards of time management. If every one of us can tick off every event that is to be ticked off at every occasion designated for, this country can be a better place for every one of us. The conference theme was restructuring, reforming, and positioning organizations continually for changing field. Keynote speaker was Madame Nazhat Shamim, a barrister and solicitor in Fiji. She gave an elaborate presentation on preserving institutional integrity in the face of change, and she used many examples from Fiji to explain the importance of institutions remaining strong internally as well as independent from external manipulation of systems and influence. When you give administrative autonomy to independent institutions, you give them a budget and you give them the rights and the powers to get on and decide where they're going to spend it and how, that that helps with institutional strength and autonomy. I hope that in telling you the story today, it will help you in your restructuring attempts in Papua New Guinea. The conference will continue tomorrow. Delhi Bagu, National MTV News.